How's everybody feeling this afternoon? Come on, we can do better than that. How you feeling? All right, all right. It's great to be here this afternoon. My name's Alan Horton. I'm the radio play-by-play -play voice of the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I'd like to thank everyone for showing up here this afternoon at the Minnesota State Fair. And those of you who are watching on the television home of the Timberwolves, Fox Sports North, also on NBA TV, Timberwolves.com. Of course, the radio home of your Timberwolves, 830 WCCO and the Timberwolves Radio Network. Also want to uh, send out a welcome to Timberwolves owner Glenn Taylor and his wife Becky and the family is here, as well as Flip Saunders, president of basketball operations and head coach of the Timberwolves. And it's really my pleasure to be here to help uh, usher in a new era of Timberwolves basketball. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah. Well, with the trade Saturday and the acquisition of Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Bennett, Thaddeus Young, and Timberwolves first round pick, Zach Levine. There really is a new identity with this Timberwolves squad. It's one based on athleticism, energy, aggressiveness, defensive minded players, two way players that fit Flip Saunders style of a defensive oriented up-tempo team. So what we'll do here today is we'll, uh, we'll get a few uh, thoughts from the guys up here, then we'll open it up to some questions from the media. And let's uh, give a warm Minnesota welcome to the number one pick in this past summer's draft, that would be Mr. Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> Just 19 years of age, Andrew uh, averaged 17 points and six rebounds in his lone season at Kansas. Andrew, first of all, welcome. Uh, it's been a very different summer for a number one pick. I'm not sure any other former number one pick had an off season quite like yours. What is it like now that the trade is finally done and you're here in Minnesota? Uh, well, first off, I just, I just want to thank everyone for coming out, showing your love. Yeah. Um, but it's been a crazy summer, you know, really up and down, uh, kind of lost. <laughs> Not know where I'm going. But, you know, I, wa I wanted to play for a team that wanted me. You know, I, I, I felt the love as soon as I got off the airport. I mean, got out of the airport, so uh, it's been all good now. I'm excited for the season. You know, I'm going to do good by all you guys. I'm going to try my best, work hard, uh, show love to all you guys, and I just hope I get the same return. Thank Andrew, you, guys. Andrew Wiggins, everyone. Hey, from num one number one pick to another number one pick, please welcome Anthony Bennett. Anthony was the number one pick in the 2013 draft. 21 years of age, he's coming off a very strong summer league performance in Vegas where he averaged 13 points and eight rebounds. Anthony, what are you looking forward to putting on a Timberwolves jersey for the first time? Um, you know, I'm just really excited. Um, you know, it's a new start, fresh start, I should say. Um, you know, I'm happy to see all you guys here. Um, new coaching staff, new teammates, so, you know, I'm just trying to have fun. How does it feel to be healthy uh, during an offseason? Something you couldn't say a year ago when you were getting ready for your first year. Uh, definitely different. You know, I feel happy. Um, you know, playing in the summer league for the first time, it was a, a real cool experience. Um, you know, like I said, I was just trying to have fun and have fun games. Anthony Bennett, everyone. How about a nice warm ovation for a guy who's played seven years in the NBA, Thaddeus Young. That's a strong reception right there, Thaddeus. How do you feel? I feel great. You know, I'm very excited. You know, I'm, uh, I thank you guys, you know, for coming out. This has been a very exciting moment for me. It's just, it's overwhelming. You know, I've never been a part of something this big before. You know, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to get to work, you know, ready to uh, help get this franchise back to the playoffs. It's been 10 years. It's been too long. Yeah. <laughs> it's been way, too, way, way, way too long. So. You know, I'm, I'm all for this. You know, I'm, I'm all ready to, you know, get with these young guys. And, and man, let, let's, let's keep it going. Let's go. Give the, uh, give the fans some insight into your mindset, <laughs> trying to step into that power forward position. Uh, you know, everybody's talking about I'm the replacement for Kevin Love. I'm not trying to be that. You know, I'm not trying to go out there and do individual numbers, individual stats. I'm not trying to be a 26 and 12 guy. I mean, I would love it. But at the end of the day, defense and teamwork wins, cha wins championships. You know, I've seen it. You know, um, I haven't been to the championship, but I, I've gotten to the second round of the playoffs. I've, I've tasted the playoffs, and, you know, I'm hungry for it again. 
Thaddeus Young, everybody. Zach Levine, you're now uh, up there in the seniority list amongst these guys. When we when we talked to you two months ago, so you were yeah. you were the newest Timberwolf, yeah. and now you're the fourth uh, newest Timberwolf. Uh, what what were your fi how about Zach Levine, everybody? Yeah. First off, <laughs> this team had a different look when you were here two months ago. How do you feel about uh, joining some of your yeah, new you teammates know, this, here? This is crazy. Like it, it just watching everything go down, I'm I'm more excited than everyone to you know have everyone here. And, you know, the new look of this team is just going to be crazy. I'm ready to get to work already. Well, you've been working hard in Seattle yeah. during this offseason. What kind of things have you been working on getting ready for this season? You know, just trying to get my body ready, get prepared, mentally prepared for the season. You know, I want to go out there and have a strong start. You know, I know everyone does, but, you know, together we're going to go out there and grind, get in the gym and, you know, just work our butt off for you guys. Like you said, it's been too long since we've been in the playoffs. We're trying to get back there. Anybody uh, Google Zach Levine's name along with the dunk? Can you see some of his dunks during the offseason at the uh, Seattle Pro-Am? <laughs> are, uh, are we in store for more of those this season? Hey, man, if I can get in the dunk contest, man, I, I definitely try to win for one for y'all. So, I, yeah, yeah, there's something a little bit like that. <laughs> Zach Levine, everybody. All right, let's open things up to uh, some questions. We've had some assembled media here. Uh, we'll pass around the microphone if you could just state your name and your affiliation. Um, we'll get things going. John, want to get us going? John Krasinski with Associated Press. Andrew, you, you know Anthony well. You know Zach for, for a little well. How much does the familiarity with some of the guys that you're coming here going to ease your transition in, into making this new start? Uh, it'll, it'll ease it a lot. You know, me and AB have uh, been playing together for a lot of years now. We're on the national team together, AAU circuit. So the chemistry is right there with him. And I've been working with Zach for the pre-draft uh, workouts in Santa Barbara. So. Chemistry is already there with those guys. You know, it's an easy transition now. I have people I've known from before uh, at the same level and same uh, situation I'm in. <laughs> Andrew, right here. Don Mitchell, Fox 9. First of all, welcome to all of you. you. Uh, Andrew, I know it's a kind of a weird situation that you get drafted and then you have to wait 30 days and then yeah. figure out where you're going to go. Kind of an unusual situation for a rookie to be in. How did you handle it? And and uh, not knowing who you can talk to and what you could do? Uh, when you don't know who to talk to, you know, you, you can always defend your family, you know, your family and your, and, your, and your close friends for comfort and support throughout, no matter what, you know. So um, it's been up and down, you know, you just can't listen to a lot of things that people have to say, you know, some stuff have to go through one ear out the other, you know, just hope for the best. And I land you with the best situation I can be in. I'm over here the time. Hey, Thaddeus, Phil Irvin from FoxSportsNorth.com uh, here in Minneapolis. You come in uh, as, as a seven-year vet with a lot of these young guys now. Um, do, you, do you feel like there's kind of a de facto leadership role for you? And if so, how do you plan on kind of stepping into that? Thank you. Uh, you know, me personally, I, I think, you know, just coming in with these young guys, uh, you know, it, it's just a, a great opportunity. I get a chance to kind of put some of the things that I've learned into them and uh, help them along the way. Uh, you know, I started to begin to do that with Michael Carter Williams and Tony Roden and some of those guys in Philly. But uh, I think this situation is much more different. Um, we all on the same page. We're all hungry to get get to the playoffs. We're all hungry to get this season started, and we're all ready to, to go in with a defensive mind. I've been talking to some of the guys in the locker room, you know, today, and just asking, you know, what are their expectations, what are their goals, just so I can kind of get a feel for them. Uh, I think, you know, me personally stepping into the leadership role is it's going to be great. You know, especially for these guys because I've been there, done it, I've seen it, and I've been through probably the toughest season of, of my career last year. Everybody, everybody can see that last year. So, you know, it, it's it's a crazy situation, but I'm all for it. I think I'll be perfect, you know, to help these young guys, and, and I think I'll be perfect to help this franchise. Mark Rosen, oh, hey, sorry. Mark Rosen, WCCO uh, Television. Uh, Anthony, let me ask you uh, as a Kind of the forgotten uh, number one guy from a year ago. Do you have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, uh, feeling you had the injury last year? You, you had it was a tough situation for you now with these guys on the court, and especially your own game. Do you feel you do have a bit of a chip on your shoulder coming into this season? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I just want to go out there. Most of the, most of me, I uh, just want to have fun. Um, you know, with these guys, new coaching staff. You know, like I said before, the fans out here being real good. Um, you know, ever since I landed. So um, you know, I just want to come out here and just you know play hard. Andy Greeter with the St. Paul Pioneer Press. Zach, playing with Andrew Wiggins and the pre-draft stuff, what was your impression of him? And you obviously didn't think that you'd get a chance to play alongside him. Yeah. 
once you got that opportunity and once you found out that would happen, what uh, was your reaction? Uh, you know, I was texting him every once in a while, you know, just seeing how he do. I know it was a tough situation for him, you know, but he just uh, being with him in pre-draft, he's a real cool dude. On the court, he's competitive, just like everyone else, hardworking. But off the court, you know, things you don't know about, he's he really cool dude. You know, he'll sit down and play 2K with you and, you know, go to moves or something like that. So he, he's a really cool dude. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, sharing some more experience with him. And, you know, on the court, we really don't get along together. Sean Reynolds with uh, Sean Reynolds with Sportsnet. Andrew and Anthony, the player that you were traded for, the Cavs believe he is the final piece they need for a championship. What do you guys expect from this core going forward? Uh, with Cavaliers going forward or Minnesota? You guys here, what do you th think of your core going forward and where you can take this franchise? The whole team, everyone, all the pieces on the team now can take uh, this team to a whole other level. Uh, you know, we're young, athletic. Uh, we have a lot of freaks on this team. You know, and we all play hard competitive, so I think it'll bring us to a whole different level. Well, Bob Sansevier from the Air Press and Sports Radio 105 Ticket. Andrew, Zach made a point of saying that he, uh, he'd like to come out and win a dunk contest for the fans. In a dunk contest between you and Zach, is it a slam dunk that he wins? I ain't doing no uh, women from the free throw line. <laughs> 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 Thaddeus, Eric, hello. Well, hey, we all. Well, how you doing? Um, if you would, just just talk to me since you've been in the league a little while, just about the core group that's already here. Aside from you four, the pieces that the Timberwolves already have in place. How hopeful are you that a you'll be able to mesh quickly, but b that you guys will be able to maybe compete for a, a postseason spot? Well. Me personally, I, I think I mesh well, you know, because I've had a lot of change in my 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 seven years of my career. I've this would be my sixth coach and going into my eighth season, so there's been a lot of change, and I've been able to adapt and adjust to each and every situation, and some kind of way, you know, prosper through it and and uh, be very successful through it. So I I don't think it's gonna be a problem for me stepping in. I think it's, I think um, you know with the pieces that we have, we'll be fine. Uh, we got a, a, a very, very good point guard in Ricky Rubio. Um, we got some great wing players and uh, Corey Brewer and uh, Kevin Martin and, and uh, Chase Buttinger, which I'm, I'm very good friends with Chase because, you know, we play USA and we were McDonald's All-American <laughs> together. So uh, there's a relationship there already with those guys. And uh, I played against uh, Pekovic, you know, uh, one of the, the strongest guys I've ever played against, just to put that on record. <laughs> and uh, – yeah, it, it's. I think it's gonna be great. Like, it, it's just gonna be a great situation. Uh, Corey Brewer, he's from Nashville, so he's a Tennessee guy. I'm from Tennessee, so you know, all these guys. Uh, you know, it, it, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be an easy transition. So, you know, um, you know as far <laughs> as us going to the postseason, you know, it's gonna take some work, but I think we got a great core group of guys that, you know, we can go out there and we can have fun. We can play defense, and we're gonna be very, very long, lean, and athletic. And you know, we're gonna. It's, it's gonna be just fun to watch. It's going to be crazy. Anthony, Kyle Radke, Timberwolves.com. Um, as a former number one pick, do you have any advice for Andrew? Um, you know, throughout the whole summer, you know, I've seen him back in Toronto. I've just been kind of preaching to him, you know, just work hard, you know, through the ups and downs. Um, you know, I, I've been through it, and it's only been, you know, my going into my second year. Um, you know, I just told him to stay focused. Um, you know, don't listen to, you know, all the talk people say, you know, just, just keep on the grind. Andrew, uh, now that you're here after the long summer and you, you got to put on the Timberwolves shirt today, you were at the arena, put on the jersey today, was there any kind of just relief that, hey, it's over and now you can kind of start going forward? Uh, yeah, there was a big relief, you know, now it's solidified. You know, I'm situated in a spot where I know I'm going to be at for a very, very long time, you know, so it's just, it's, it's comforting. Uh, Jerry Zagoda from the Star Tribune. Andrew, I heard you say you just wanted to play for a team that wanted you. Um, did, did, it, uh, did you take that personally? Did it feel like rejection to you, or do you realize very early on that this is just a business? Um, I know it's a business. You know, uh, organizations are like a family, really. It's like if they feel like something's better for the family, they're going to go through with that decision. That's what they did. They felt it was better for that, for their situation. So it's, 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 it's a business. This question is for uh, this question is for 
Andrew and Anthony, uh, both of you guys coming over here together, how much does that help? And do you have something to prove following up on that? Organizations are like a family, now you're with the new family. Do you have something to prove this year to the Cavaliers and for the Timberwolves? Um, pretty much, you know, like I said, we want to have fun, win games. Um, like he said before, you know, we've been playing, um, you know, AAU basketball. You know, we played Nike Hoop Summit, um, Team Canada. So we kind of have a chemistry, you know, we can bring to the team. Um, you know, he plays on the wing, I play in the post. So, you know, hopefully we just um, go out there and just compete our artists. Andrew, when LeBron joined the Cavaliers, was your first reaction, great, I get to play with LeBron or they're trading me? Uh, you no, know, as soon as he joined, that's the best player in the NBA. You know, so it's all joyful and happiness for the whole team. Any other questions? Let's hear it for these guys up here. We got the jerseys right here. We're going to get a qu uh, quick uh, photo op with them, with the guys holding up their jerseys. Just a reminder, you can uh, stop by the Timberwolves booth over at Fan Central on Underwood Street. And uh, you can get your photo taken with uh, Andrew Wiggins and Zach Levine. That'll get underway at 3.30. Of course, you can get season tickets over there as well. Everybody get your photos. 